Hey guys, welcome back to Hours for All channel. My name is Anastasia and today I can't wait to teach you how to make your own silk painting. So if you want to do a silk painting or a batik, you first need to stretch your silk out onto a frame. So let me show you how. You're gonna need some stretcher bars. So stretcher bars for silk painting come in with these little grooves. So you do want to have these little grooves when you're stretching the silk on because you don't want your silk to be touching the frame. I got these frames at my local art store. One thing that you can do is you can go on Amazon and you can order stretcher bars as well. However, one thing is that they don't have this little groove and they're just straight on. So when you are painting your painting, you're gonna see this frame. So if you do choose to do that, make sure that your design is within the frame and not outside of it. I have two 13 inch stretcher bars and two 15 inch stretcher bars. The first thing that you're gonna have to do is you're gonna connect the corner. So find your corners. It's really easy for the first three pieces of wood, but then it gets slightly difficult. One more. The last piece is the trickiest piece. So it slides out nicely. However, if you do want to make sure that you fine tune it, you can grab a rubber mullet and you can just go on the edges to make sure that your frame is all on. All right, and you have your perfect frame ready to go. Now you're gonna grab your silk. When you are cutting your silk, make sure that you leave about two inches or an inch and a half of more fabric than the size of the frame. This key is super important because you don't want to mess up the stretching of the silk. Once you've laid your silk out, you're ready to get started with the stretching. Before you do that, it's a good idea to wash the silk. You don't have to iron it just because we'll be stretching it and it'll look quite nice. You are going to need some push pins. I usually do as I grab one edge. I put my push pin in right in the center and I do it on the same frame two more times. All right, so there we have one side ready. Now I go over to the other side, flip it over, and we are gonna stretch the other side. Now, one tip, you don't wanna be necessarily stretching right across from where the first incision was. You might wanna go slightly to the side. So there's our first line. We'll go over slightly to the side and you pull it nicely and put your push pin in. And now we'll do the same thing on the edges. All right, <laughs> so here's a rookie mistake that I made. I didn't make enough silk to cover on the sides. What you can do if that happens, which it shouldn't have because I have quite enough on the other side, is we can take it all apart and that's what we should do. <laughs> Right, now when you have all three on both sides, we're gonna go and do the other edges. So do the same thing, start in the center, and I would go right across to the other side, and I wouldn't stretch it right across, I'd just go just a smidge over to the other side. And stretch one over. Make sure you pull it nicely. You don't wanna pull it too much, but you do wanna be firm. All right, now you have three on each side. Now I would go to the front and I would look where the spots are, like holes. You look for holes basically, so we can find some here and here. You wanna make sure that your silk is stretched really nicely. And again, you don't wanna go side, like right across. You wanna go just a smidge off to the side. You're still gonna see lines, but that's okay. There's not much we can do about that. All right, so now you check your silk over again and you notice there's some on the edges that you might wanna clean up. Almost done. We wanna make sure we kinda of fix up these edges. So here's what you can do. You can fold them onto each other. Okay, now you curl your edges in and you just stretch them out to the sides. All right, now you have your silk all stretched up. That was fun. If you wanna do batik or silk painting, this is exactly how you stretch your silk on. Now you're ready to go. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.